Hi, I'm Jason Houtsma, guitar instructor for WorshipRSG.com. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Keeley Electronics Compressor. Now, this is a very famous compressor. I've got the four knob version. I'll never forget the time I was talking to a guitarist and I mentioned just how great her tone was. And she said, it's that pedal right there. And she pointed to the Keeley. So I've always wanted to get my hands on one. People swear by it. Let's see what the fuss is all about. This is the four knob compressor. It has those basic compressor settings. You have your attack, your sustain, your level, and your clipping. Now, like a lot of compressors, you can actually crank up the level and turn down sustain, and that'll give you basically a boost pedal. So, for example, here it is without the compressor on. Just helps you drive that signal a little bit harder. Uh, we also have the sustain knob. I'm going to start it here at right around nine o'clock. I'll put my level back to right around unity. Attack is all the way down. This is considered the classic Keeley tone, is how it's referenced. And uh, you know this really helps even out your sound. Not only does it help with volume, but it also you can really hear it, it kind of, it warms up the tone and makes it a little more present. Now, some people like to put this compressor on right at the beginning of their, of their set and never turn it off. I found that I, I like to actually utilize it in a couple different ways. One is for those cleaner chords. When I'm doing arpeggios. I was working on the song Touch the Sky by, by Hillsong United this last week and found it invaluable for the tone. So for example, here's what the part sounded like without the compressor. Compressor. You can just really hear how much that evens that part out. Now, one thing I don't like about this is when I I really like it when I'm digging into chords, I want to hear that big open sound. That the compressor does squash that a little bit. you may like the sound of. Um, I don't particularly, but you know that's why pedals come with on and off switches, which this one is true by bypass. So you turn it off, doesn't change anything about your signal. Now, let's look at that sustain knob a little bit. So for just that basic sound, for most like straightforward things, leaving that sustain knob right there at nine o'clock is a, is a real nice touch. But let's turn it up to 12 and see what we can do with some lead work.
Works great behind some overdrive. feedback for days. Beautiful sustain. I tend to, I, I think I kind of go back and forth between using that nine o'clock position and then, you know, if, if I'm, if I know I'm going to be taking a lead, cranking that up to uh, noon and it, and I think it sounds really great. Overall, it's a great sounding pedal. You know, we've done some comparisons. I mean, you can definitely tell this has a, its own sound to it. And if that's a tone you like, it's well worth taking a look at. Um, I'd compare it to some of the other ones around there. I wish there was a blend knob. I feel like I would use it more if it had a blend knob like that SP compressor. But other than that, it is an awesome pedal. I, uh, I've really enjoyed using it. I hate to send it back to those guys at RogueGuitarShop.com, but uh, I have to because, you know, I can't just buy every pedal they send me. But if you are looking for high-quality gear, check out RogueGuitarShop.com. They are, they are phenomenal. Thanks. <laughs>